How effective is my disinfectant? In this presentation, we're going to look at six disinfectants and the advantages and disadvantages that they have in the water industry. Every bacterium, virus or microorganism that can cause disease have varying degrees of resilience. Each disinfectant comes with different degrees of effectiveness and have their own advantages and disadvantages. The kill rate of each substance shows how quickly after contact the disinfectant renders the pathogen harmless. Some disinfectants carry on killing pathogens after application. This is called residual kill. We are going to compare six disinfectants within the water industry. We are going to look at the residual kill and whether it is present in each solution, the kill rate and rate it poor, good or very good, and the advantages and disadvantages that come with each. We are going to score each of these and at the end they will each have an overall score to make you decide which disinfectant would be suitable for your industry. So the first one we've got here is sodium hypochlorite. The kill rate is good, so we've given it a 2, and it's also got residual kill, so that's another 2 points. Disinfection with sodium hypochlorite has similar disinfectant efficiency, and residual performance is chlorine gas, but it reduces the hazards associated with the handling and storing of chlorine gas, especially if it's generated on site. As with chlorine gas, it's relatively cheap is tried and tested and can economically disinfect small to large amounts of water. Some of the disadvantages associated with the sodium hypochlorite although, are, although it's safer to handle than chlorine gas as mentioned before, it's, it still does have a hazardous and corrosive element. Ozone, also known as O3, has a very good kill rate. It's commonly used in drinking water disinfection. It produces less THM disinfection byproducts, these are trihalomethane byproducts, than the number resulting from chlorine. It's also very highly efficient at killing bacteria, viruses, and protozoa, and it is always generated on site. It doesn't require transportation or storage of dangerous materials. Ozone also comes with disadvantages. This chemical needs to be consistently monitored and within the ozone system there are higher than fatal concentrations of ozone and the release of this gas would clearly be highly dangerous. Chloramine has a poorer kill rate than other disinfectants. It does have a residual kill so it's still used in drinking water disinfection. It's weaker than other disinfectants in this comparison, but because of its stability, it provides a longer lasting residual disinfectant, which can be an advantage for distribution systems. Like other chlorine types, it's relatively inexpensive and simple to use. The disadvantages with chloramine are the fact that on-site generation requires chlorine gas or hypochlorite, which means that the safety precautions associated with chlorine apply. As it's a weaker disinfectant, especially against cysts and viruses, the contact time required for adequate primary disinfection are much longer and higher than with chlorine. Because of this, chloramines are not generally chosen as a primary disinfection. Chlorine dioxide has a good kill rate and also has residual kill after application. It's very effective, more effective than chlorine, but it's not as strong an oxidant as free chlorine. 
Some of the most recent generating systems do not require chlorine gas transport or handling, which makes it safer. There are also disadvantages associated with chlorine dioxide. It's often generated on site and it requires all the precautions associated with the transportation and handling of chlorine gas. Chlorine dioxide production using chlorine gas or acid and hypochlorite generally requires an excess of chlorine or acid to maximise sodium chloride conversion. has a good kill rate and it has residual kill. It's commonly used in swimming pool disinfection. It has excellent stability when kept in dry storage and it maintains its potency over time. It's relatively stable, it's similar to sodium hypochlorite in disinfection properties and has a greater available chlorine than sodium hypochlorite or liquid bleach. Calcium hypochlorite comes with its own disadvantages. It's corrosive and also reacts slowly with moisture in the air to form chlorine gas if it's not stored in airtight containers. Esol electrolyzed water has a very good kill rate and the has residual kill. This disinfectant can be used over many industries such as fruit and vegetable disinfection, swimming pool disinfection, you can disinfect large areas, control biofilm and legionella. Because the technology uses only salt, water and electricity, it's not toxic, it's easy to use, it's safe to handle and you don't require additional safety processes. The trihalomethane levels are considerably lower than those produced by treatment with chlorine gas. There are disadvantages associated with ESOL. The process produces some disinfection byproducts, which, though significantly reduced compared to chlorine gas, may require attention as the increasingly stringent regulations scheduled for the future are implemented. Overall, the scores for each of these disinfectants are shown here. It's up to you to decide which disinfectant would be good for your industry.